The Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, Figile Majola, together with the MEC for Finance and Economic Development in the Eastern Cape, Mlungi Simvoko, are visiting the Cougar Development Corporation outside Tsebecha to assess the progress of the Orion Farm Tank project. This project has created 267 jobs as the Eastern Cape is currently faced with unemployment. They will also visit the aquaculture development, which is considered a highly attractive investment location. SEBC News reporter Nandipa Blaiki has more. We are in Kabeha, the Guha Development Corporation, where the Deputy Minister of Trade, Industry and Competition, Honorable Fikile Majole, is here to conduct a site visit at the tank farm project that has been happening here at Guha. They will also later visit the aquaculture development project. They have invested in the tank farm project and are looking forward to its project. With me right now, I do have the Deputy Minister. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister, for speaking to us today. Um, please do let us know the importance of um, doing the site visit and seeing the progress. Thank you very much. Uh, today we are coming here to assess progress that has been made since uh, the short turning that occurred here when I came here two years ago. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that uh, the DTIC together with the Eastern Cape government took a very important correct decision to ensure that we keep Arion uh, engine that uh, carbons here in the country in order to support the automotive industry. So these uh, are the producers of uh, 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 carbon black uh, which is used primarily in our tires uh, to see the, our tires as uh, black as they are today. So if uh, we had allowed Arion engineered carbons to leave the country. It would have meant that uh, all the automotive uh, industry, uh, companies that are operating here in Rebecca, but also in the whole of the Eastern Cape, were going to have to import the products, uh, product from overseas. So we are very happy that uh, the, we have kept the country here. We have uh, preserved those jobs, uh, and that will the company will create more jobs if, if the much of time. So today we're going to assess uh, the the companies in the process of commissioning actual operations. The tanks have been built, the pipeline has been built, so very soon they should be able to start production. How will this um, affect the importing and exporting of products in terms of economic development since now we have this um, carbon oil in here? The, yes, we, it's very important for our uh, imports. Uh, already we, you, we have heard uh, that uh, um, uh, shipment is already, of oil is already coming, so it means they will keep to we continue to import oil uh, as an input product into the operation. Uh, and uh, in addition to supplying the domestic market, Arion uh, Engineers Carbons uh, is, is supplying the, 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 uh, the foreign markets, in particular Europe. The last time we were here, uh, two years ago, we were already informed that uh, Arion uh, Engineer, Engineer Carbons was all, had already received orders from Europe. So it's very important that uh, we will supply the domestic market, but at the same time uh, to, the, to be able to export, to export the product from here in Kaga. Okay. Now, once the farm tank project is up and running, as the oil is coming in, will you still continue to um, offer funding, or this is the end of the, the process of funding? As the DTIC, we, we assess uh, projects as they, uh, they uh, get implemented and when it is necessary, we give the necessary support. But uh, initially, we're given the funding so that we can ensure that the, the structures can be built to help the company to remain here. As we understand, from now on, Adrian should be able to, uh, to cover the operational costs and uh, if they, at some point, they would like to expand, we will have that discussion with them, with them in the future. But at the moment, our focus is 
they should start operations. Okay. Thank you very much, Deputy Minister. That was the Deputy Minister of Trade, Industry and Competition, Honorable Fikile Majola, explaining to us that it was important for them to fund this project so that Orion, the company that is part of the farm tank project, continues to operate within South Africa, ensuring that economic development keeps on thriving.